The stage is yours indeed. No, the stage isn't mine. The stage belongs to another incredible, delicious recipe that we will hopefully be trying this weekend because we're so excited. Tomorrow, it's the rugby. And you know with rugby comes snacks. Now, today, we're making our very own Clover Amasi cream cheese from scratch. It's perfect for dipping those chips. And here to show us how is the hostess with the mostess for tomorrow's big game, Angie in studio. Angie, so hey. good to have you in the show. Thank you. Yes. Are you excited for the rugby? Um, I'm not really much of a rugby fan. Yeah. I'm more excited for the snacks and the wine. You know what? Put it here, girl. Put it right there. Please <laughs> leave me hanging. Okay, let's talk about this delicious cream cheese that you're going to be making for us. Because as much as I love store-bought, yeah. there's nothing like knowing that you made it yourself. Exactly. You put the ingredients in there. And for some reason, it just always tastes better. It's a very satisfying thing. Yes. And you know exactly what's in it. True story. Um, and you can tell everybody, I made it myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, enjoy, enjoy. All right. So right. what is our recipe needs today? So um, a classic cream cheese would be made with milk that you then need to um, boil over the stove. Yeah. You, it's, quite a, it's a bit of a process. Mm. You add some lemon juice or any other acid um, and then strain it. So it yeah. takes, takes a while. Yeah. Um, but with this one, it's, you're going to skip that whole step. It's okay. super duper easy. So you buy... Your or amasi, oh, which is already thankfully. fermented. Yes. So it's already got that acid in it. Um, so you get that lovely, when you see it pouring out, it's already got that sort of chunky, clotted effect, right? I love it. So Let me tell you. you make as much or as little as you want. Yeah. And it's so it's so healthy for you as well, which is really good. Yeah. Now you're going to leave this to stand and strain. So you've got a colander over a bowl with a bit of cheesecloth. Mm -hmm. If you can't find cheesecloth or muslin or anything, what I do is it's a bit of a cheat. I buy, yeah. you know, those blue cleaning cloths that you yes. get from the shops? Yes. Um, as long as it's clean straight out of the packet. <laughs> <laughs> and you put that inside your colander. As long as it's clean. Make sure you don't, don't, like, don't wash first, the Don't dishes. first wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so you're going to drain it so that now, will drain. It'll all take the liquid a, it'll, out of there. It'll take a few hours because it's going to okay. drain slowly and you just really want all of that liquid to drop yes. through. Yes. And then you're going to be left with the curds okay. at the end. Um, so what's dropping through is called the whey. Wow. And and, okay, doing it like this is not ideal. You want yes. to let it really go slowly. Yeah. But that's that's sort of and what's going to happen. And also, don't try and help it along by going... Don't squish it out, because yeah. then you're just going to squish all of it through. Exactly. <laughs> and you have to start again. Okay. So this is... It's a, it's a bit of a process, but I, what you can do is just put it into this yeah. overnight. I leave it in the fridge. Nice. And just let it drop through overnight, okay. and then tomorrow morning you've got cream cheese. The nice thing is now we've overnighted. We've okay. over... Ta-da! The magic of don't TV. Don't you just love TV? <laughs> I never want I to love leave. it. Um, what you might find is sometimes when you do it um, by hand, yeah. it comes out a little bit grainy. Yes. You just pop it into the food processor yes. with another tablespoon of cream and then just whiz it until it's lovely and smooth. Oof, I'm available for that. Okay. All right. There we go. So what we can do to make one of our lovely dips for our chips when we're having the braai and the, yeah. the rugby is take your cream cheese and you can do anything you like with it. Okay. But we've got here, we've got some chives and some mustard, oopsie. And the beautiful thing about this is you can also use this in a cheesecake recipe yep. for a very luxurious, delicious, cost-effective uh, cost alternative. Mm. Uh, you can add honey to make honey mustard cream cheese. Yeah, we could add some honey into this. So we've Lovely. got lemon zest and orange zest and a little bit of the juice as well. Yeah. Salt, pepper, chives. and. You've got an instant dip. Isn't Look at that. that. That looks lovely. beautiful. Think of Absolutely this with some amazing. potato wedges that you've baked in the oven. I think we do have. And then you serve oh, that. So if you would like to make this amazing recipe uh, for cream cheese from scratch, all you have to do is SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33728. We'll send you the ingredients list. Mm. We'll send you the link to the recipe, and you could be making this yourself. But if you missed any of the steps, well, then take a look at this. Clover Marcy is a thick, creamy mass your family will love. Made with love by Clover. Did you know that thanks to Clover, Amasi or Tando full cream mass, a few other ingredients and a little know-how, you can make your very own cream cheese at home. Now that's impressive. Slowly pour two liters of Clover, Amasi or Tando full cream mass into a muslin lined sieve placed over a large mixing bowl. Pop it in the fridge and allow to strain overnight. Gently squeeze excess liquid out of the muslin cloth and place the cheese in a bowl. Next, add one tablespoon of orange zest, one tablespoon of lemon zest, one tablespoon of chopped chives, and a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. 
Stir to combine. Then add one tablespoon of orange juice and a tablespoon of lemon juice, then stir one last time. For a creamy salad dressing, stir through a splash of clover fresh full cream milk. Serve your homemade cream cheese drizzled over a salad, as a dip for potato wedges, or on anything you like. Zesty, creamy, and so simple to make, your homemade clover Amasi cream cheese will be a hit. So go ahead and give it a try. Made with love by Clover. And ta-da! That is how you make your very own cream cheese dip. Absolutely amazing. What else could you make with this recipe, though, well, Angie? Well, it's, it's super easy to make a nice, cost-effective cream cheese frosting. You know, the oh. sort of split thing you put on your carrot cakes yes. or your carrot cake muffins. What would you so, add? So, equal quantities of this and some mm -hmm. butter. Okay. Whip it up until it's lovely and light. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then start adding your sifted icing sugar spoon by spoon. A little bit of vanilla essence and ta-da, you've got cream cheese icing. And ta-da, you've got <laughs> cream cheese icing. Well, we have been slogging in the kitchen. I feel like we need to just taste some of our hard work. Once again, the keyword clover to 33728. And of course, the hungriest person in the studio, always, always here when the food is here. <laughs> Tabiso, would you like to taste, my love? Yes, please. Didn't do anything oh, for the meal, man. but you well, can taste. Well, it's indulging Fridays oh, here yes. on Expresso, so this is what we do. Not really sweet things Fridays, just yummy things Friday. Mm. Oh, the creaminess, the cheese. Mm. Mm. Comes through. Mm. I can highly well recommend this. Do it yourself. Mm. Perfect. Nice. Clover Marcy is a thick, creamy mask your family will love. Made with love by Clover.